great battle for second spot. They're side by side, coming down the back straightaway. Michael on the inside, Rick on the outside. Michael's got him low. Oh, boy, did they just get around. Rick Mears staying high, gets around Michael, but they're still at it, going to four. I had all the you know, respect in the world for Rick. You know, he's one of the best guys to race against, and we knew that the other one's going to give the other one, you know, room. And, uh, and that's what happened. Now Michael makes another move, looking to the inside. They're wheel to wheel as they head for turn one, and Michael has got him. They got him with good shape. He moved by again on the inside. Bob, they're really running well down low in this particular corner of this racetrack today. I really didn't think that anybody had anything for me at that point. About a, a 10 car length advantage now as they head halfway down this back straightaway. And Rick Mears must have a problem because he keeps losing ground on the leaders. I was ready to put Rick a lap down, um, and his day would have been over, and, and i get a flat tire. So I had to come into the pits right away, and, and that's the thing that changed the race. Danny Sullivan's engine has gone here on the main straightaway. Now that it's on a yellow, they, they take the hose out. Michael Andretti is off a very quick stop, and they're very happy with the results. Green flag waves. Here's the final 13 laps of the race. A drag race to turn number one. Rick Mears and Michael Andretti. First restart, we came around and, uh, you know, we had two cars in front of us, two lap cars. And Michael's great on restarts. Always has been. I had a really good restart. I was lucky I had my cousin John, and I knew he was going to help, you know, and, and so I just kept my foot in it. Rick Mears made a great move down low. He leads the way. About, no, no, Andretti's got it going the short shoot. He's a number two, and Michael Andretti's got the lead. I got a good toe off Rick, and, and John kept high, and I, I went right through the middle of him and Rick. And uh, here comes Michael with a big toe, big run, and, and I'm, I'm dead in the water. A good start for Michael Andretti. A shootout over the final 13 left. And we hadn't really shown our hand all day. And, uh, but now it's time to show your hand. And uh, I knew we'd get a shot back at him. I didn't realize it would be the very next lap. Now Mears goes to the outside, and Rick may have him. They move into the short shoot. Rick Mears takes the lead. Michael passed Rick, and then Rick got him right back in turn number one. Just unbelievable racing, and Rick now begins to stretch it out a little bit. Mears has put it down to the floor and said, let's go. I really thought that we had it because we had dominated the race and, and I still to this day don't quite understand where Rick got that speed. We went back and looked at the telemetry and I forget what the speed was now, 226, 228, something like that. That was the fastest I'd gone into that corner all day. So it's unknown territory. You run it in there and you kind of hold your breath and you hope you're going to make it out the other side and as it worked out it did. Rick Mears becomes the third four-time winner of the Indianapolis 500.